two of preseason thunder is underway and there's plenty of buzz in the garage area. The talk this week has been all about Junior and we caught up with him to talk about just how important 2008 is for him and his new team. The 2007 IndyCar champ Dario Franchitti stops by the studio to talk about his Sprint Cup rookie season and we'll get you up to speed on exactly what is going on at Michael Waltrip Racing in 08. All this and much more preseason thunder starts now. It is the great equalizer at the Daytona International Speedway, the draft. Today we saw some of NASCAR's best hooked up in this 190 mile an hour freight train and we saw some different names on top of the speed chart for a change during this second session. Hello everybody, I'm John Roberts. Welcome to Preseason Thunder alongside of Larry McReynolds and much different results today, Larry. The, the single car runs in the morning, saw the same fast guys. The afternoon was a whole different story. Yeah, well, you're still seeing Dale Earnhardt Jr., Hendrick Motorsports, and the Toyota's fast, but now we know who's fast. We've got to roll the sleeves up because now we've got to get these cars in the draft, which they did this afternoon. Pretty uneventful. We didn't really see any problems. We didn't see any engine woes, no right front tire problems contrary to what we saw here basically a, a week ago with some of the other cars. Yeah, the team's got enough to worry about without on-track problems. It was a very clean day. Let's take you back to the morning session and see how they looked out on the racetrack. And this morning session was led by none other than Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the 88. Larry. And again, he's been fast by himself, just like his teammate. And it looks like he's pretty happy with the way his car is driving in the draft this afternoon. Now, we want to show you folks how some of the other drivers in this field are doing. And this guy's been making some waves, Jeff Fuller was 14th fastest in the morning session. That is a team car to Joe Nemechek and Furniture Row Racing. Yeah, Furniture Row Racing, I think they're trying to decide can they put a package together for a second team here in the Daytona 500. David Reagan coming on strong last year, wants to pick up where he left off. Yeah, he finished fifth in his first outing in the Daytona 500. So yeah, he knows how to get around this place and survive the big one with a good finish. Now, Boris said is running a very limited schedule this year, but he has come to Daytona before and sat on the pole. And he always seems to be one of the faster Fords. Uh, yeah, he was going to sit on the pole for the July race before the rains came. So he's a guy who definitely knows how to get around this racetrack and a fan favorite anywhere we race. Dale Earnhardt Jr. fastest, along with his old drafting buddy from DEI way back in the day, Michael Waltrip. You had Jarek Vickers up there in Toyotas as well. Dario Franchitti again led the charge for the Dodge Camp. Denny Hamlin was fast. And, but the guy who led the way and who all eyes are on, Dale Earnhardt Jr., spoke with our Adam Alexander after the session. The biggest change in 2008, of course, Dale Earnhardt Jr. joining Hendrick Motorsports. You're here and you're doing it, but talk about how anxious you've been to get to this point because I know for you it was probably a long off season. Yeah, it was. It, you know, I was wanting to get to the racetrack and get to work, and you know, you get so excited to be with a new team like Ricks and uh, have such a uh, you know a lot of people really excited about getting the year started. You're ready to go and couldn't wait to get to the racetrack and start working. We know all about your history. Obviously, Hendrick Motorsports has a, a great history. Have you thought at all what it would be like to come here in a month and win your first race for them in the 500? Yeah, I mean, I don't think about it too much. I try not to daydream too much because it really uh, don't get you too much. But I think that it's going to be fun. It's, you know, there's going to be a, a lot of uh, attention to, the, to, to our, our team, and, and I just hope that you know we have you know i hope everything goes smooth and i think it should we got we're well we're real, well prepared and uh, you know we should have uh we should have a lot of fun we should really enjoy it you know it's going to be uh, there's there's going to be a lot of pressure and there's going to be a lot of you know things surrounding our team as we're trying to focus on our job but we should enjoy it because this is a this should be the greatest time of our lives. Well, this guy has certainly always had a flair for the dramatic, and winning in the Daytona 500 in his first start at Hendrick Motorsports certainly would be a great way to get things kicked off. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s number on the restricted plate tracks as a whole, Larry, are absolutely phenomenal, but he's got great numbers here at Daytona by itself. But the biggest thing, the apple did not roll far from the tree. He <laughs> loves restrictor plate racing at Daytona and Talladega. I think that apple hit the tree on the way down is how close that is. Let's take a look at the afternoon highlights, Larry. Let's jump up in the draft and see who is fast. 
whole different crop of fast cars. And this bunch we're about to see with, oh, seven, eight cars in the draft, they were the fa among the fastest. But this is what you have to do down here testing because, yeah, you want a fast race car on qualifying, but putting your car in different configurations like you see here and getting a feel for how that car is going to drive, that's what will win you the Daytona 500. A lot of drivers down here have been telling us that we won't see a lot of this come race time, and that's three wide racing. And this is over in turn two. Track's plenty wide enough, but the cars are moving around so much because the racetrack has so many humps and bumps and swells. And we even see a little bump drafting there on David Reagan down the back straightaway. Not a problem on the straightaway, just don't bump draft in the corner. Let's take a look at another pack of cars drafting and uh, some guys we've heard a lot from so far this week as of uh, as Michael Waltrip and the 55 team, but there's Sam Hornish in the 77. And, of course, Sam getting some of his first experience in drafting configuration, but right here lined up like that, that's when you'll really go up the speed charts. That's the way the draft works the best. Let's take a look at the fastest 10 guys from this afternoon drafting session. They'll get another shot at it tomorrow. Regan Smith is full-time in that 01 this year, and he was second fastest to Ryan Newman in the Dodge. We saw some Chevys up there and our uh, defending champ there, Larry Kevin Harvick. But the biggest thing I see, we've been talking about the struggles of the Dodge. You see three Dodges there, Ryan Newman, Dario Franchitti, and Casey Kane Dodges in the draft being fast. Let's hear from some more of the drivers. We felt like the cars were going to draft a lot better than they were by themselves, and uh, the car drives really good in the draft. Just uh, real happy with how it drives and how it handles, and uh, need to get it sucking up just a little bit better. But the, uh, you know, the guys did a great job today, and, and I think we got a lot that we can build on and keep working towards. There weren't a whole lot of cars that were out there in the pack. I mean, I think the most cars we saw was about 12, 13 cars. Um, we're we're fighting just to, to suck up to the car in front of us bumper. Uh, some of the manufacturers can do it. We can't do it. Car handles awesome, and uh, it's gonna be a lot different animal when we get 40 some cars out there. No, no surprises because we've already had it at Talladega. You know, you know, it definitely had more turbulence and, and moved around more uh, in the draft there. And we, we, you know, you would only imagine it to be a little bit worse here because the track's rougher, and, and it was, you know, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't really bad. Uh, but I was also only in a three and four car draft. Now, Larry, we touched on this briefly yesterday, but it is uh, definitely the case. These guys who are here this week are definitely benefiting from the notes and uh, the, the technology they got from last week. Well, I think they're benefiting from that, but I think also they're benefiting, John, the track has more grip. It's much cooler temperature. It's supposed to be in the 70s tomorrow, but the one thing that Regan Smith talked about, I heard that a lot today, and that's the fact that the car just won't suck up, won't pull up, and a lot of that can be because of the low gear that's mandated. It's like you get close to that car, and it just like hits a wall you just can't go on up there and do the bump draft like you'd really really want to all right well we're up in the draft here at daytona as preseason thunder rolls on a little later on in the show dario franchiti comes by to talk with us about his first year in sprint cup and also coming up next the news of the day stick around everybody